Hey guys, what's up? It's Lindsay. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see, I changed the setting of my room. I like this better. It feels more chill. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been out in a while, but I've been super busy trying to do some things. Um, and I've been periscoping a lot. Uh, speaking of periscope, today we're going to be doing a periscope Q&A because I asked my scopers to give me some questions and I said that I would answer them on YouTube and it's been a couple weeks so I figured now is probably a good time to do it um, also before I continue I would like to shout out my friend Madison Ray and her book, Madison Ray Kennedy, her book is called Silenced. She wrote it, it's all from her heart, and if you guys would like to purchase it, I will put the link to her website in the bio below. And yeah, it's a really good book, and you guys should really buy it. Okay, so, Let's get started with, okay, we'll do this one first. Also, you guys told me that I wasn't coming too close to the camera and you wanted me to be more close, so here I am. Um, all right, this one, this, these questions are from XCOM13. Um, he asked me my fondest memory I have from last year. Um, from 2017, my fondest memory would probably be my arrest on Halloween, which I did make a video about on YouTube. It's my, I got arrested on Halloween video, and you guys can go watch that. It's, um, it's in my story time playlist. Um, it was... Definitely one of the most memorable experiences of my life. I could have avoided it, but here we are. And they also asked what would have made that memory even more memorable. Um, huh. I mean, let's see. I was arrested, put in a jail cell. What would have made it more memorable? I guess maybe if I was not let go, if they kept me in jail longer. Um, which I actually went to jail recently for a reason that does not matter because I didn't do anything wrong. They just thought that I did, so they put me in jail, but that's a story for another day. Um, and they also asked me if you could call yourself three years ago and had to take 30 seconds to talk, what would you tell yourself? Okay. I need to review this again. Okay. So the question was, okay, if I had 30 seconds to call myself or tell myself three years ago, I would probably tell myself simply enough, don't worry about your ex-boyfriend because he's worth nothing and get over it now because it's sooner is better than later and stop wasting your fucking time and get on Periscope because I did not know what Periscope was when it first came out so yeah that's all I tell myself alright and this is also from XCOM 13 what book have that you've read had the most influence over your life oh my gosh that is so crazy because when he asked me this question, I didn't know the answer. But I know the answer now, and what's funny about it is I just actually bought it on a thrift bookstore because I learned, I read the book in fifth grade and I didn't know where to find it. But my teacher, Mr. Ogden, I don't know if anybody from Great Oaks Elementary, if you guys know me, you probably might have known him. He was awesome. Still is, probably. Uh, made us read this book called Love That Dog, and I just got it in the mail yesterday. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. 
and it's an amazing book by Sharon Creech. Yeah, and it's a poetry book, and it's awesome. And I did just read it the other day. So yeah, that had the most impact over my life. Um, Dak Prescott for L I F Life asked, "Who was my first boyfriend?" Okay, that's a fun one. My first real boyfriend was in eighth grade, and his name was, uh, we'll call him Jeff. And he was pretty awesome. I'll always love him. He was my first kiss. Oh, hmm. The second question he asked was, who's your first kiss? And it was him. He lived in my subdivision. And one day we just kissed and my extensions, because I was a little emo kid, got in the way because it was really windy. And it was cute. Yeah. Whatever. We still talk. We're still friends. Um, what are the stories behind my tattoos? Okay, so this cross right here. My best friend Kayla, <clears throat> she uh, was like, hey, you are going to get... There's no way we played all this music already. Hold on, here we go. Okay, so... She was like, I was so afraid to get tattoos. And then finally, I was like, okay, she's getting a tattoo, I'll go with her. I'm not gonna get one. I kind of had a feeling I'd eventually get one because of her. And she was, I fell asleep at the place we were at and she woke me up and she was like, get up, you're getting a tattoo. And I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, you're getting a tattoo right now. And I'm like, where, what is it? She's like, across, on your wrist, let's go. I'm like, okay. And then um, it was, it, it kind of hurt, but it didn't stick right on a bone. But like, it only took 20 minutes, but like after four minutes, I was like, can we take five? But I just went all the way through, but it's faded because I didn't take care of it. Um, oh, my tattoo here, Saturn. My grandpa worked for NASA, so I got this one for him. Um, I have a tattoo right here. It's a heart, and it's because I was born with a hole in my heart. Uh, it healed naturally, which is awesome. Yes, that's a freckle inside of it. And this one is a bridge, and it reminds me to cross that bridge when I come to it, instead of worrying about everything all at once. Okay, so, what is the first time you snuck out, and what did you do? First time I snuck out? I, the first time I snuck out, it's funny, because it's about my first boyfriend and who my first kiss was. I actually snuck out to see him. And I was very scared to do so. And, uh, because I was only 13 or 12. And I snuck out and walked on the block with him. And, I don't know, we had our cute little relationship back then. Um, let's see. Okay, this question is by at very understanding their question said hmm, tell us your worst kiss and why okay so mm, my first kiss my worst kiss I mean was with this guy he was the third guy I ever kissed and he was in high school and he was a great older than me, and he was cute, and it was just a horrible kiss because, like, I kiss people like this, like that, and he was like, like a fish, and it was really weird. Um... Sorry, I have his name written down right here. It's making me laugh. And they also asked me, name one thing in your life that you would do over in a heartbeat and why. 
I wouldn't do anything over in my life because if I did do anything over in my life, I wouldn't be here right now. So I'm happy. I'm happy with everything, the way it went and everything like that. Um, okay, Razor Sharky 11 asked me, tell us what makes you the person you are today. I guess all the bad things and good things in my life have made me who I am today. Like, my best friend Kayla, she definitely played a big part in who I am. Um, the people I hung out with that did a lot of drugs, that tried to steer me in a wrong direction when I did not want to go in that direction, and I went the right direction, uh, they played a big part in my life, made me who I am. My teachers, every teacher I had made me who I am. Uh, and... Devin, my best friend Devin, he's done so much for me, he made me who I am today, and who I am today, also I have to give a shout out to my girl Maddie, who wrote this book, and she lives in Minnesota, she also helped me be the person who I am today, because if it wasn't for her being there when I don't even know that I need her, or she doesn't even know I need her, like, she's just always there for me, and helps make me not make the wrong decisions so yeah shout out to her and Devin and Kayla and all those people and my family of course um okay nacho king I think it's nacho underscore king asked me what's the worst thing a friend has ever done to you and the best thing the worst thing a friend has ever done to me let me think. I don't know, I guess the worst thing, like just in general, not a specific friend, like just a friend at all, like in general, probably the worst thing would be like me telling them the truth about something and them believing like their boyfriend over me or their girlfriend over me because it's like... I'm telling the truth, and it's like we're friends, so you should believe your friend over that person. I mean, in most cases, anyway, because um, I'm a genuine person most of the time. Um, and the best thing a friend has ever done for me? I don't know. I guess all my friends have done great things for me. I mean, the most, the best thing they can do for me is be there for me when I need them. So, I mean. Yeah, that's the best thing. Okay, um, Razor Sharky Eleven asked, "Name three things you would want to change about yourself." Three things I want to change about myself. That's a tough one. I mean, I would change the length of my hair. I wish it was longer. Um. I would change. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I guess it's the only thing I can think of right now. I, I I love who I am as a person, so I I don't think I change anything. I mean, I'm I've learned a lot in the past year. 2018's been a great year, so I mean, I only have one thing. Sorry. Um, very understanding. Also asked. If you could leave your body for one day, whose body would you take over and why? I would take over Demi Lovato. I would take over her body because it's a good ass body and she works out like crazy and um, her boxing skills are awesome. Uh, and her voice is great, so I would love to sing like Demi Lovato for a day. Yeah, that's why. Um, Universal Angel, which is my friend Alice from Periscope, she asked me, if you could master one craft or skill, what would it be? Ooh, I, well, she never said if it could be mystical or not, so I would definitely, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the show Once Upon a Time, um... I think it's on ABC. I would like to 
uh, wind straw into gold. That is what I want to do. But if we're talking not mystical, then probably making my own clothes. Like sewing and stuff. Oh, this is going to be hard to read. It's in like bright highlighter. Okay. Oh, my friend Shay from Florida asked me if she's on Periscope too. She asked me if you could hang out with one celebrity, dead or alive, who would it be? Alive. And... It's hard. Okay, can we do a guy, a girl, and a transgender person? Because I... There's three people. I would love, 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 love to hang out with Jeffree Star for a day. I would die because <laughs> he is so cool um okay two guys um and Shane Dawson obviously Shane Dawson Shane Dawson um 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 Gigi Gorgeous. Because I love her style. Um, and Demi Lovato. Did they ask why? No, I didn't ask why. Okay. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Disney World. Um, yeah, Disney World is the happiest place on earth, and I love it. Um, if you could, this is all from Shay. If you could, oh, I crossed that out, sorry. If you could live in any decade, what one would you live in? This one. I live in this one because I love my life here. But if I could like visit a decade, I'd probably go to the 50s, maybe the 20s. I don't know, it'd be cool to not like have technology for a little bit. But I wouldn't want to live there. Okay, one of my favorites, um, Periscope, Blue Wolverine. Hi. Um asked me what are three pet peeves you have oh this is a fun one okay so three pet peeves i have are hmm number one definitely would be chewing with your mouth open or me being able to hear you chew number two would definitely be uh girls that wear their lipstick over their lip because that's annoying and um, tapping. Like constantly got to make a noise doing something. Unless it's me. I can't deal with it. It's annoying. It's annoying. Um, sorry if this is a long video, but it's for Periscopers. Okay. Funnel97 asked me, if you could change one thing, what would it be? I would change the way people are. On earth, I would wish that people, I would change that people could understand one another's perspectives. Because I think the world would be a happier place that way. Um, Shay also asked me, what do you look for in a guy? Okay, what do I look for in a guy? Um, I look for someone who can keep me entertained. Um, someone who will love me for me, uh, someone who will listen and not judge me. And if they judge me, they'll respect me and they'll explain to me why they're judging me in a nice way. And that are not so, like, like they're good with conflict. 
and they can speak their emotions because I hate when guys can't just explain their emotions. However, um, that goes the same thing like if I was looking for a girl because I'm I'm not I guess you would say I'm bi I don't know I just I like people in general like I'm I think it's called pansexual uh, correct me if I'm wrong but um yeah like I would definitely look for all that oh and they have to have a great smile he or she has to have a great smile so yeah um What advice do you give for young women and or your sisters? Don't worry about the things that are happening right now in your life. Worry about um, the future. I mean, not too hard, but like, worry about, don't worry about everything right, right, right now. Like, my tattoo, cross that bridge when you come to it. Like, take everything step by step, day by day. If you don't, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. And in 10 years or five years, you're gonna look back on that silly situation and you're gonna feel a lot better about it. And um, this is another one from Very Understanding. Asked if there was one piece of advice you would give a 13 year old. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If there was one piece of advice you would give a 13-year-old you, what would it be? Um, no matter what happens in life, don't change your hair color. Leave it brown because it looks the best that way and you're stupid if you keep changing it. Um, also, I would tell myself, stay strong no matter what because a guy or a girl that breaks your heart will not fucking... It will not be the biggest thing in your life. Like, you will have a lot of heartbreaks before you find the right person. And that person that is making you upset is not worth it. Because they're just not. Um, don't let them bother you. And that's all I have. So, I'm sorry that the video is kind of long. But, it was. And, I hope it answered all your questions. If you have more questions for me, I'd love to answer them. Because this is really fun for me. Um, probably one of my favorite videos that I've done so far. And I don't do edits anymore because I want you guys to see me, like, as a whole. Like, I don't want to edit out the silly things. Like, there's no point. Like, you guys know me. Get to know me. Whatever, you know? Okay. I love you guys. Subscribe to my channel if you like me. And if you made it this long, I love you so much. Um, my links for uh, Periscope, for Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, everything. Instagram will all be there. Snapchat will all be in my, the link will be in the description below. Um, click that notification bell so you can get notifications every time I upload. And one more time, I'm going to promote Maddie's book. It's called Silenced, and um, if you ever went through something traumatic in your life, uh, I suggest you get this book because, honestly, it's a heartfelt book. I'm halfway through, and it's, it's amazing. And I have a signed copy from my girl to my favorite mailbox. It's an insider. Much love, Maddie. You can get a signed copy. Or you can get a regular one for less. Um, signed copies are pretty cool. And, uh, yeah. I'm actually going to read the back for you guys. Because um, I want to promote my best friend's book. Okay, so it says, Poetry is not only a way to escape, but also a way to relate. These poems give insight to the world of PSTD. Heartbreak, troubled families, and mental health. It is a journey from feeling broken and displaced to feeling, to a feeling of strength and healing, one that most people have traveled. Here's the emotional and raw version of mine. 
So, if you've ever went through something traumatic or upsetting and you want to relate to somebody, this, this is your book. Silence. By Madison Ray Kennedy. So, ask me about it and I can link you to the book or how to buy it or to the author. Alright. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Mwah!